What's up guys, Not Super Mario here and welcome back to The Mandalorian Season 2 Watch Along. Chapter 14, I think, yes, Chapter 14 is upon us and the previous chapter was probably my favorite episode so far of The Mandalorian and even though as a casual fan I'm not very familiar with Ahsoka Tano, with um, all the Star Wars lore, General Thrawn was mentioned, Yoda was mentioned, there was a lot of stuff mentioned in the previous episode, but it was awesome. I, I cannot say anything else, but it was epic, action-packed, Ahsoka Tano looked incredible, uh, all the name drops that I was not familiar with, I did check on them on the Googles, uh, and I'm like now more invested, and I'm like, hey, oh yeah, the double, wow, like that, oh, that's interesting, great, blah, blah, blah. There's so man many stuff that happened in the previous episode that I was like, yeah. This is my favorite episode so far of The Mandalorian, and I'm saying that as a casual Star Wars fan, which which is very, uh, very, ha, ha, what do I want to say? Very, uh, uh, very interesting. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I, I think Dave Filoni did an amazing job with the episode. I was trying to say something like that, and I kind of failed. Anyway, we are moving on to chapter 14. I don't know where we are going now. We are, well, all we know, we, we are going to Typhoon? Typhon? Something like that planet called Typhon? I don't know. I probably mispronouncing the name. Where... Maybe we're gonna see the next Jedi because that Ahsoka Tano said that let's put Grogu, baby Yoda, on that rock thingy uh, and somebody's gonna be there. Hopefully there was. There, there's been a lot of speculation who's gonna appear as the next Jedi. Mace Window, Obi-Wan, Ghost Yoda, Ghost Anakin, maybe uh, there's this guy Ezra from the Rebels that everybody was like hyping that he should be the next uh, Jedi or the Jedi that... Um, is helping baby Grogu, Yoda, whatever. Um, I don't know. I don't know who's gonna be. I, I, if you would ask me who would I wanna see, Mace Windu. I wanna see Samuel L. Jackson back. That would be incredible because it's Samuel L. Jackson. I mean, what you wouldn't like about that? Anyway, let's just start with chapter 14 and stop talking because I'm rambling already too much. And... Mandalorian, and the title of this episode is... Because I not heard anything. The Tragedy, oh, okay. Looks like that's the magic rock I'm supposed to take you to. <laughs> magic rock. Oh, snap. <laughs> Grogu is like, yeah. So he has to put him on this rock and somebody's gonna magically appear. And we are all waiting who's gonna be. This is the seeing stone. Are you seeing anything? <laughs> butterflies. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't eat butterflies. Time's up, kid. We gotta get out of here. Oh. Whoa! Baby Yoda is going Super Saiyan! Whoa! Jesus! Whoa! I'll see if I can buy you some time. Can you please hurry up? Whoa, goddammit. That scared me. He's finally back! I, I I was very afraid that there's gonna be only one scene of Boba Fett in this whole season. Yes! Damn! <laughs> he he looks <laughs> beat up! I'm here for the armor. I don't want your armor. I want my armor. Ooh. That you got from Cobb Van back on Tatooine. Fennec? You have a keen ear, man. So now we know who found her was left for dead on the sands of Tatooine, as was I. But fate sometimes steps in to rescue the wretched. In my case, Boba Fett. Oh, okay. Oh, snap. Oh, I thought they are going to be dark troopers. <laughs> Storm troopers. They're no big deal. They're just running cluelessly. <laughs> Attack! Move out! What the heck is that? Oh! Got him! Got him! Got him! Yeah, bye, bye, bye! Oh, God! Oh, Shiza! Whoa, Boba! Calm your tits down! Oh, snap! He angry! 
Oh my god, Jesus. He has some anger issues. Oh. Uh, watch out for the rock. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Bye bye. Boba Fett in his armor! Yeah, boy! That's it. Nice. Whoa! What? Okay, I didn't know that. He can shoot missiles from his knee. That's epic! And it's gonna hit the next one. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh, what? Razor Crest is no more. Well, it did survive a lot. Have the dark trooper has been engaged. Oh, snap. Momentarily. Damn, okay. We need another Jedi. Come on, please. Or Baby Yoda, do something. Like, crazy stuff. No, why? No, I don't want to see them separate. They're back. Who? The Empire. They're back. That can't be. The Outer Rim is under the jurisdiction of the New Republic. This isn't a spy stream. I can see the Imperial Cruiser with my own eyes. We agreed. In exchange for the return of my armor, we will ensure the safety of the child. The child's gone. Until he has returned to you safely, we are in your debt. Working together. Oh, serving fifty years. Bill Burr is back. <laughs> yeah, baby Yoda. Have you ever seen one of these? Oh, dark saber. From years past. <laughs> Teeny tiny shackles. I don't like this episode. They separated Mando and Baby Yoda, which uh, makes it awesome for the future episodes because now we are gonna chase uh, Moff Gideon and it's gonna be interesting to see how uh, he gets uh, Baby Yoda back and he's, uh, he is uh, now having a team because Boba Fett, thank you, thank you Mandalorian. I was very scared that we are not gonna see any more of Boba Fett in this show and I was like, don't do that, don't just give me a cameo and uh, please Star Wars fans give me more of that and we got it. Also Fennec is back, now we know who found Fennec in the first season, Boba Fett. Uh, it was awesome to see him back in the, uh, in back, back in his armor and we also now know that Mando is uh, making a team to get Man uh, not Mando, Baby Yoda back, Grogu. He's gonna have Boba Fett, Fennec himself, uh, of course, uh, Cara Dune, and it looks like Bill Burr, which is awesome to see him back. He was awesome in the last season, even though for only one episode, but I really like his character. So that's gonna be interesting to see what happens next. Uh, the only, I would say, complaint about this episode is I felt le like that at points, especially in the fighting scenes, uh, the the episode didn't feel very cinematic. I, I don't know why. Is it the way it was shot? Is it the way because it looks like they were doing it on the lo on the location? They didn't do it in that round thing. That I always forget the name. Uh, but for some reason, at times didn't feel very cinematic. That's just me. I don't know. Maybe somebody else felt. Uh, a like and if you did leave it down in the comments down below of course share your opinion on the episode as well but for some reason the cinematic feel was lacking because i mean so far episodes looked absolutely incredible and for some reason when the stormtroopers were shooting and the whole action scene with boba fett fennec mando and all those stuff uh was was uh, i don't know lacking some oomph if you know what i mean uh, but at the end of the day, I still like, enjoyed the episode. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this uh, video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share this video all over the place, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Share your opinion on the uh, on this episode in the comments down below. And I see you next time.